for the first time, I'm gonna see if I can walk on the football field in stadiums off of US soil. That's right, we're going to CFL Stadium. Let's see BMO Field in Toronto. The area walking up to BMO kind of reminds me of Soldier Field in a way. It's a lot of park, a lot of waterfront, and it's kind of tucked away from the rest of the city and put me on about a half mile walk to get here. This lakefront is about completely covered in ice, but we do have some ducks out here using the water they got, making it happen. Way to go, team. The first thing I'm noticing is that BMO Field, there is not signage for any team anywhere. I know this is a multi-purpose stadium, but I'm not seeing anything for any of the teams that play here. Nonetheless, a CFL one. Whose team name, to be honest, I completely forgot because I'm in Canada and I don't have service to look it up. But as I get closer, I find my first sign for reserve parking. It's a Toronto Argonauts. Argonauts, I I'm not sure, something like that. But I am very sure this first game behind me is locked. Yup, not a great start. This is my first time stepping foot in Canada, so I really have no idea how this is gonna go all the way around the building. Could be a walk in the park, could be far from that. I'm gonna have to find out for myself. And also as I keep walking around, I found out Toronto FC plays here in the MLS. Here's another gate over here as we turn the corner with a stiff, stiff lock. I don't know how anyone would go about opening this, but we can get our first little peek at the seating right through this way. I would say bowl, but I don't think this is a full connecting bowl at BMO Field. Let's stroll down the baseline past tickets right here. More lock gates, more stairs to get to lock gates that are also blocked off. I can just barely, barely get the best shot we've seen so far through this mesh. And down the rest of the baseline, it's gonna be all the same stuff. Until we get to the end of this side, that is still very much locked up, but we can see much, much more of the field here. This is probably the best shot we're gonna get without going inside, but we got like 80% of it here, so I'll take it. This looks like a closet, but we might as well check it though. Any luck? Doesn't seem like it. Let's turn it out. Loading zone right here. That's not gonna be happening. Once I'm done with Toronto, man, I swear to God, I'm done doing this in the snow. I am bracing these elements. This staircase over here doesn't seem locked up. That's compelling. We found our way to one singular door handle. Let's try it. No chance. Right by gate five here though, is the most compelling thing that I've seen so far. The door right behind this one is propped open. I just gotta make sure this one's open and we're in. Come on now. No. Hey, how are we doing? Good. Not too bad. Um, I was just looking to check out BMO Field and seeing if it was open anywhere. Yeah, we're close, bro. We're close up? Yeah. All right, sorry to bother you. It's all good, bro. Yeah, take care, homie. On the other end of that conversation, right outside that same door, was security. Seemed like a cool guy, but getting in trouble in international territory is not what I'm trying to do. I do have one more CFL field I want to try, but as far as BMO goes, I'm going to have to surrender on this one. Well done, Toronto. On to the next one. This next stadium is very, very on brand Canada. We're at Tim Hortons Field, home of the Hamilton Tiger Cats. For context, Hamilton's about 40 miles southwest of Toronto. So close enough that we're kind of in that urban sprawl, but far away enough that we're not right in the center of the biggest city in Canada. Immediately, this area feels much more laid back. We're actually right across the street from an elementary school and have a lot of residential property really close by. The setting almost makes us feel like a high school field in a way. But despite being a little bit more welcoming of an area, the gaze around the stadium don't seem as welcome in. There's some really, really strong views of the stadium here, but these doors we're behind are not gonna be opening. And from what I could tell driving up here, the gates are pretty consistent around the perimeter. Let's wrap around this way and see if we have any better luck. Here's one more gate with a door handle. Is that gonna be open? Doesn't seem like it. Even the team store is locked up right now too. Here's some more entrances this way with the same gates. Maybe this will be a little bit better. Doesn't seem to be the case through here. This door right here at least is different. That's promising. 
Not gonna be open though. And with those tries, we have quickly made it to the other side of the stadium. I'm still a little bit more optimistic than I was in Toronto. It doesn't seem super intense around here. There might just be one door I can slide through. Definitely wouldn't be any of these handleless ones right here. Made it to gate one now, seeing another gate with a locked door. Still passing by a bunch more homes on this side of the stadium too. I can't stress enough, we are in the middle of a neighborhood right now. Honestly, the only professional stadium I can think of that's anything like this is Lambeau Field. And even then, they don't have homes this close. Oh man, I think we just got something. Through this end zone section here, we have an open gate. Looks like it was open for this guy to plow the field right now. I just gotta get in when he's back to doing his business. I think the coast is clear right now. Let's head in here. Ladies and gents, we have made it to the snowy surface of Tim Hortons Field. It is time for our ice cold CFL walk on. I still see our plow hard at work over here, so we're gonna stay out of his way for a second now. Let's take as much of a stroll through here as we can and see what we can find. Off the bat, I'm not seeing any abundantly obvious entrances to this side of the concourse. So I think the first move is gonna be cutting through this tunnel right here. I might head up these stairs, get an even better shot too. This is awesome. This is like the perfect G5 stadium to me. I can see this fan in the AAC like a glove. I also love all the branding at Tim Horton Stadium. This very much feels like a football field, whereas BMO to me just felt like a stadium where football happens to be played in. This job looks so fun, dude. Where do I sign up to be this guy? Let's see what's on the other side of this here tunnel. And on the other side of that tunnel was someone telling me I can't be here. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than be good, I guess. So wrapping up a quick CFL tour. First stadium, thinking it all. Second stadium, got kicked out of right when I got noticed. Got to give credit where credit's due though. Hamilton Tiger Cats handled that much better than the Chicago Bears. But based on what I've seen now, it seems like CFL stadiums operate much more closely to NFL protocols than college football. Not too surprised by that, but hey, I'm just happy to see one go through the hoop this trip. Hamilton Tiger Cats, appreciate y'all.